a taping drywall. One thing I've noticed is a lot of people are using the fiberglass tapes, all right? And I'm gonna show you why you need to be cautious on how you use those. taping drywall okay using this is bag mud I mix from powder it's not pre-mixed mud I highly recommend you use that with the fiberglass tape the pre-mixed pre muds just don't seem to to work Let me turn off my headlamp there you go I turned off my headlamp um, but what people make a big mistake is they put the tape over this they've got a big gap and then what they do is they'll take and they'll smear a couple coats of mud over this but it truly doesn't work into that void, that big void. What you need to know about drywall is anything that's hollow will typically crack if you leave it hollow. So if you just float over a little eighth of an inch skim over top of this, it's probably not gonna hold. It may or may not, but it's not guaranteed. So what I do is I pull it off. I don't put it on there. I actually come around and I, I pre-fill. I will take, this is a Easy Sand 20, and I actually work it into the void not just once, because now once it's probably only an eighth of inch deep. You have to work that in several times. In fact, even take your knife blade and wedge it in there, pushing it in there, and then come back up again and get it in there several times so that you're packing that in there. And then I like to, I'm getting ready right now to go to lunch. I'm gonna go to lunch, because I'm a lunch kind of guy. All right, clean it all back off, leave it on the surface. Now when I come back after lunch, I'll put the fiberglass over top of it. All right, I'm not gonna do it now because it'll bulge. It'll bulge and sag and it'll lift this, the center. So when I get back from lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll run this with the Easy Sand Mud again. Then after the Easy Sand, your bag type joint compounds, you buy them in powder form in a bag. They're stronger than the pre-mixed bucket muds. Then after that's done, the top two coats can be your regular bucket mud, your pre-mixed muds. I'm not a big fan of the fiberglass tapes. I prefer paper, call me a dinosaur. One thing I don't like about this stuff is you have to constantly mark the end of the reel. If you don't mark the end of the reel by folding it over or doing something, you will lose the end of the reel. And I tell you what, maybe I'm blind, but finding the end of that tape would drive a wooden man crazy. But anyways, Another reason I don't like it is in the corners. When you put it in the corners, it makes a jagged corner. I prefer pa paper in my corners. I always paper tape my corners to get a nice straight edge. And I'll just use this glass for repairs and out of my flats and butt joints. All right, man. If you like the videos, turn on your notifications. Please leave a comment, good or bad. Tell me if you like the videos, like the videos. And hey, stay tuned for our seed giveaways. We're gonna give away seeds and I'll usually typically link this back to a garden video and another fix-it tip video. Another drywall tip I wanna give you is, hey, when you get boogers in your mud, okay, one thing you wanna do is, as you're doing the seams, I always dry knife the seams and scrape them off before I go ahead and bust out the seams because what happens is you'll get little boogers up in the corner from the previous coat. And if you don't dry knife them off, they're gonna get into your mud. And occasionally you still, going around mudding areas like this, you'll pick up what I call little hitchhikers, skim coating the walls. All right, this is what your mud should look like. Nice and smooth, that hasn't been sanded. If you have built up edges, you're putting the mud on too heavy. Put it on, take it off at about a 45 degree angle. There should be no built up edge to have to sand. All right, there's when it's all finished, hasn't been sanded. All right, anyways, but what you want to do is do not throw this mud back in the pail. When you do, you're going to, if there's a few boogers in there, you're going to pollute that bucket of mud. And then I take my knife and I will take my knife and I will actually scrape all this off. This is all fresh mud. Make sure there's no boogers in it. Flatten it all off. Level out the top. And then throw a splash of water on here. Throw a splash of water on here. What you'd want to do is get a, get a rag, get rid of all this rough stuff on the edges, 
Get keep it wet. If you keep it wet, it's not going to dry out on you and get all them boogers into your mud. Keep a clean pail of mud. That's the ticket. If you don't do that, you're going to come back the next day and the next day and the next day, and you're going to be saturated with boogers. You know, be booger free. Bubba runs booger free mud. All right, man. Keep them growing. And hey, if you like the videos and the tips, click on your notifications. Subscribe. Leave a comment. You might be our next winner. All right, man. Remember, keep it a secret. Home gardening tips. But go tell a friend. <laughs>